Assalamu alaikum. I'm Nabila from Dhaka Community Medical College. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about an easy way how to draw the venous drainage of the upper limb. Okay, so first of all, some uh, peculiar things that you have to keep in mind is that in the venous drainage of the upper limb, you have to draw the dorsal venous arch. That is, this venous drainage, it starts from the dorsal venous arch. Okay, this dorsal venous arch, it will be in your back of the um, uh, hand. Okay, and how it is formed? It is formed by the three metacarpal veins, which will be, which will go from one, two, three metacarpal veins, medial side of the little finger, uh, radial side of the index finger, and two from the thumb. Okay, here will be forming dorsal venous arch. Uh, from dorsal venous arch, medially, uh, one vein extends that will form the cephalic vein, and from the lateral part, uh, again a vein extends which will form the basilic vein. Second point, in the super in the venous range of the upper limb, there are three main veins. That is the cephalic vein, which is present laterally that you have to keep in mind. Basilic vein, which is present medially that you have to again keep in mind. And the median cubital vein or anticubital vein, both are the same. And these veins, they finally drain into the ax, uh, axillary vein. Okay, so this is the basic overview. The median cubital vein, it starts from 2.5 cm below the bend of the elbow, goes... Uh, upwards and medially from the cephalic vein to the basilic vein and ends 2.5 cm above the bend of the elbow. So without wasting much time, let's start. First of all, we draw the uh, dorsal venous arch. Okay, this is it. You have to draw, this is your uh, back of the hand. Okay, and here uh, I'm going to tell you about the dorsal venous arch. As I told you, three metacarpal veins, okay, uh, from the ring finger, okay, two from the, uh, okay, one from the um, index finger, me, uh, okay, and two from thumb, okay. This is your dorsal venous arch, okay. Here it will form one vein, here it will go and form the another vein, okay. This another vein is the basilic vein. And this is the cephalic vein. And this is your dorsal venous arch. Okay. Now, I'm gonna uh, draw about the veins. Okay. So, this is a quick diagram. Please don't mind if you don't like my diagram. Because I'm not very good at drawing the hands diagram. Like, I cannot draw fingers very good. Okay, this is your part. Okay, so suppose this is your bend of the elbow. So first of all, you can draw your median cubital vein medially upwards. Okay, one vein from here. It will start from here. Okay, another vein start from here. It will go upward like this. This vein will go upward like this. Okay, and they finally drain into the axillary vein. Okay, and this is the median vein of the forearm. So this is your uh, venous drainage. Now I will just label it laterally. Here present cephalic vein. I'm not writing uh, full vein. I'm just writing V for the vein. This is your basilic vein. This is your basilic vein. This is your median cubital vein. Median cubital or cubital or is it called anti anticubital vein? Okay, this is your median vein of forearm. Whether if you will not write it, then also no problem. But uh, I'm just writing for your convenience. Okay, and this is your axillary vein. As I told you all here that all these veins they train into the axillary vein. So this is your venous drainage. This is gonna very be very easy. You just have to mark the median cubital vein. One vein from here, one vein from here. This is a cephalic, this is the basilic. They will drain into the axillary and this is the median vein of the forearm. Simple. Now, one thing that I want to tell you is that uh, the importance of the vein from the median vein or the median cubital or the anticubital vein, it is the most common venous uh, site for correction of the venous blood, okay, that you are obviously familiar with. Then, uh, 
for the cephaliquine and basiliquine you cannot use a catheter using the cephaliquine since you can see there is an angulation okay when will you will go to cephal go from cephalic to axillary there is an angulation okay so because of that the catheter can be disturbed okay but from the basilic vein to the axillary vein it is a direct path so a catheter can be inserted through the basilic vein rather than a the cephalic vein so this is the important of this so this is it uh, hope you like this video uh, please do like share comment and subscribe and please do write in the comment box if you want some more videos like this and on what topic you want the videos uh, please do tell us and uh, hope you enjoy uh, thank you